What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and another car pack review video. This is the Duracell car pack for Forza Horizon 3. It is March's car pack and I believe it is the last car pack that is included in the car pass. So um, we probably will have a couple of other packs after this I believe but this is the last one for the pass. The first car in the pack is the BMW 507 which is an interesting little car. Um, it's another one of those kind of small little convertible cars that we seem to get in most packs. Um, I can't remember what it was last month, but we had a car like this in last month's pack as well. Um, really, they're just little D-Class cars that I personally do not really care for. It doesn't have anything you know, special about it. It's not a car that I've actually heard of before, BMW 507. Not something I've ever heard of, not something that I recognize at all. Um, I mean, if you're into little cars like this, then sure, it may be interesting to you. Of course, you can probably stick ridiculous amounts of power into it and make it quite crazy. However, for me, personally, um, because I don't know the car at all and because it just kind of looks a bit generic and not very interesting, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's probably one of the worst cars in the pack, in my opinion, but it's here. Up next, we have the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 or Camaro, however you want to say it. I was about to say Camaro and I said Camaro. Uh, ended up sounding a bit weird. I love this car. This is the 2017 version, I'm fairly sure, and I really do like it. I mean, the Camaro has always been uh, one of my favorite muscle cars. Um, it's, you know, I've, I've been liking the Ford Mustang a lot more recently. Um, however, you know, the, Mu the Mustang and the Camaro, I'd say, are probably my two favorite muscle cars. I prefer them over, you know, like the Challenger and things like that. So I'm um, having the ZL1 2017 ZL1 is really really awesome. It's in S1 class from stock, so um, you know it's already it's already pretty damn powerful. I'm pretty crazy. It is a cool car. Next up we've got the Ford Falcon GT. This is I mean every single pack I'm pretty sure we've had either a Holden Commodore or a Ford Falcon because Forza Horizon 3 is set in Australia. They like to add Australian cars, which I suppose makes sense. This one's alright, um, I've said this a few times, I am more of a fan of Holden Commodores, however I can't really say too much negative because we seem to get a Commodore in one pack and a Falcon in an up in the next pack, so I can't really say too much about this. This is an interesting one, I prefer the slightly newer cars, this is I think 1992, this Ford Falcon GT, so um, you know, it's alright, it's, it's not that interesting, it's not a car that I really see that much even living in Australia, but it's pretty cool to have. Next up, the Jaguar XES. Um, this is a this is a pretty nice car actually. I like this car very much. It drives fairly nice. Had a little bit of troubles with the brakes at one point, but I mean that might have just been the track. It was quite a hilly track with them, um, you know, cambers and crazy stuff like that. So that might have been the track, not the car. But this is a I believe 2015. I think it's 2015. Not 100 percent sure on that. Fairly sure it is. 2015 Jaguar XES. It's a car that I've actually haven't heard of before, I haven't seen this car before, it's a pretty nice car, kind of just a sedan sort of thing, um, yeah I mean there's not too much to say about it, it's cool, it's nice to have in the pack I suppose, and yeah. Next up is the Land Rover Series 3, um, now this car's interesting because I mean I don't like Land Rovers, never really have, find them a little bit boring and I mean I don't really like four wheel drives, SUV type things anyway, I mean this is more of an off-roader than an SUV, but you know what I mean, I don't really like those sort of cars. It's interesting having this car though, and I will probably be doing a, um, a cross-country car build of this car, because you can put over a thousand horsepower in it, I've already tried it out, it's going to be interesting. Um, so that's, this is probably, it might be the next cross-country car build, it might be the one after, I don't know, but I will be doing a cross-country car build on the Land Rover because it should be interesting throwing this thing around a course. Next up, the Nissan Nismo GTR LM. Now this is this is a pretty cool car. It's basically a Nissan GTR uh, race car. I believe it's based off an... I'm not sure if it's an R32 or an R33. It's been quite heavily modified, I'm going to guess, by Nismo. It's a Nismo-tuned car, and it's alright. I mean, you know, it's, it's primarily made for racing tracks um, on a circuit. So um, I don't think I'll be racing this thing off-road, even if you can put off-road suspension on it, which I don't know if you can, haven't checked that, but um, I probably won't be doing it anyway, because you know, it's a, it's a race spec vehicle, that's what it's supposed to be. It's pretty cool, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, however, because I like Skylines, I do quite like this car. And the final car in the pack is the Volvo 242 Turbo Evolution. 
Um, now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Volvo 242 was in Need for Speed 2015. I think it was the cheapest car. I'm fairly sure it was the 242. This is the Turbo Evolution, so I think it, this might be a slightly faster version. Um, however, it's, a, it's actually a really fun car to drive from standard. I'm just driving it standard in this video here, and it's really fun just chucking it around. It's only in, I believe, C-Class, but even in C-Class, it's fun to just chuck around and have fun with. Um, it's in the classic rally category, so um, I think I'll probably be doing a cross-country car build on this car as well. But there are actually a few cars that I'd like to do builds on in this pack. But um, yeah, that is the Gerocell car pack for Forza Horizon 3. Like I said, I'm fairly sure this is the last car pack for the car pass. So um, we may see another pack next month. However, it'll be one that we have to buy separately. It doesn't come in with the rest. But there we have it, guys. That is going to be it for this video. Um, well, actually, actually, I'll just um, I forgot. I said actually twice there. I um, what cars do I like? Well. The BMW I don't really care for, the Camaro is really cool, the Ford Falcon's alright, the Jaguar's pretty cool, the Land Rover should be pretty interesting when you stick upgrades in it, um, the Nismo Nissan GTR is pretty cool, and the Volvo 242, uh, it was a fun little car to drive from standard, so I think that could be interesting. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed please go ahead, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.